Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness from Breast Cancer Answers. You know, one of the difficult questions that I'm asked is, hey, Dr. Harness, can I refuse therapy? Specifically, in this case, can I refuse anti-estrogen therapy? Well, before answering that question, I'd first like to take this opportunity to thank the company who developed the Breast Cancer Index, a test that may help women with estrogen receptor positive early stage breast cancer to decide with their physicians whether to extend or end anti-estrogen therapy after five years. Well, this is really a challenging question about refusing treatment or turning down recommendations made by all of us who are trying to provide patients with the absolutely best care. You know, when I meet a new breast cancer patient for the first time, I tell them that I have four jobs in their life. My number one job is to be their friend and to be their advocate. My second job is to be their project manager. My third job is to be their surgeon when the time comes. And my last role in their life is to do long-term follow-up. What all of us in the world of breast cancer are trying to do is to provide patients with the latest state-of-the-art therapy as we understand it today, knowing that the state-of-the-art will change as we continue to learn more about all of the diseases that make up breast cancer. We've known for well over 30 years you have to treat the whole body, and in estrogen receptor positive breast cancers, a fundamental part of that is anti-estrogen therapy. So yes, can someone refuse anti-estrogen therapy because they hate the side effects and all the things that go along with it or they're worried about the complications from the therapy? Of course, we can't force anybody to do anything. Our job is to make sure that everyone understands the benefits and understands the risks of any therapies that we recommend to them and then make the right decisions for themselves. Hopefully you're only working with physicians who are up to date and are committed to the absolute standard of care as we understand it today. As an example, if you refuse anti-estrogen therapy, it may have a very negative impact on your overall survival. We do understand that it can have a negative impact on your quality of life, and the medical oncologists that you're working with can help guide you through those things, including all of the other adjunctive things that you can do, including meditation and exercise and the importance of weight control and all those things. So yes, you do have a right to refuse anti-estrogen therapy. In my view, it's not a good idea to do so. I hope you find this video to be helpful. And as I wrap it up, let me take this opportunity to thank our sponsor, the company who developed the Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond year five, just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your physician.